Hello Virgo! This is your astrology forecast for July. Well, there are a couple of big pieces of news. The first one is that Jupiter, planet of good fortune, abundance and blessings, changes sign in the middle of the month. But more of that later. Let me break down the month into the important dates that you need to look out for. You're going to breathe a big sigh of relief, Virgos, because on the 2nd of July, your ruling planet Mercury, planet that rules technology, communications, travel, goes direct, thereby making your life a whole lot easier, much more straightforward. Any miscommunications, any lost emails, lost keys, all kinds of things that maybe haven't been able to go ahead very quickly, things should start moving more quickly for you now. This Mercury energy here in your 10th house, so if there's been any kind of misunderstandings at work, you should be able to move forward now. Maybe you've had a little bit of a hold up with getting a job or a situation with a job that's been maybe just too much work and nobody's been listening to you, that this is just too much and you can't handle anymore because Virgos, you are a, an earth sign and you do have a tendency to take on a lot of things in one go. Being a mutable sign, you're interested in lots of different things. But when this Mercury goes direct, it's a good time to communicate clearly at work to be able to get your message out. It should be easier to get things repaired, get things fixed. Hopefully things are not even breaking down anymore now that this Mercury energy goes direct. If you've got any important contracts to be signed, now would be the time to go ahead. Now on the 12th of the month, we've got a full moon in Capricorn. And this full moon for you is joining Pluto here in your fifth house. Now this full moon in Capricorn is shining a light for you, Virgo, on your creativity, your uniqueness, what makes you different. Sometimes, Virgos, you like to blend a little bit into the background. No, this energy now, this Saturn energy, if you like, in coming into your fifth house here with the Pluto, is all about you saying, right, What's different about me? You know, you're very creative, Virgos. So how can you bring that uniqueness into your work, into what you do? It's a time as well um, to look at deepening some of the contacts that you have, going deeper with them, making them more meaningful. People that could be influential that might be able to help you move forward. Some good connections here as well. With this Saturn energy, this full moon here in Capricorn, <clears throat> in your fifth house, um, it's important to structure some of your day that you're having fun. I know Virgos, you like work. Many of you are workaholics. But this energy now of the full moon is saying, hey, you know, you must allow time, downtime, for some fun, some enjoyment, some games, some play, some pleasure, entertainment. All these things are coming with this full moon. Now, for the first couple of weeks, we've got Sun and Jupiter uh, until the 16th of the month and the Sun until the 22nd of the month in your 11th house. So still a time for expanding your circle, for growing, for meeting new people, connecting with new friends, maybe connecting up with networks, maybe online networks, that are meaningful to you, maybe joining um, a group online that really maybe promotes more of the things you do, or just like-minded people that can really help you. It's also a good time for focusing on dreams and wishes, things that you want to create for yourself, because on the 17th of the month, this Jupiter, planet of blessings, good fortune, all good things, comes into your 12th house where it stays until August 12th of next year. And more in another video all about this Jupiter energy, how it's affecting us globally, the industries that I think are going to be affected. Separate video on that, which I hope you're going to watch. But for you now, this Jupiter here in your 12th house, and then the following year from August 12th, it comes into your sign, uh, Virgos. So that's going to be very exciting. 
Now while it's in the 12th house, this often brings you, like in the 11th hour, somebody saving you, helping you, something just working out for the best. It's like having a little fairy that just puts fairy dust out there for you when things are getting too tough. This also is a good opportunity for you to really develop your spiritual practice. Many of you Virgos are extremely spiritual. This is a wonderful time for going deeper into the metaphysical, maybe astrology, numerology, tarot, uh, your subconscious, your dreams. You're going to have some most amazing technicolor dreams. Try to have a pen and paper by the uh, bed to really record those dreams because you have writing ability, many of you Virgos, and you may use that. You may even publish some of the dreams or some of the things that, you've, uh, that have come to you. I've had many clients, they've had a dream about a particular business idea that they then made a reality while this Jupiter is in their 12th house. So much can happen. Now, for the first, until the 18th of the month, we've got Venus in your um, 10th house up here. So this is a good time for smoothing over any kind of ruffled feathers, any kind of disagreements in the workplace. It should make you quite popular. So if you're going for an interview, this should be very helpful. And it also should be very helpful in um, somebody wanting to be helpful to you and support you in some way, Virgos. You are usually the supportive one, but allow somebody to come and support you. On the 19th of the month, this uh, Venus comes into Cancer. Um, the Sun is there as well. So this is a wonderful time um, to connect with somebody, maybe an, a friend that could later become a lover or just a very deep heart relationship. Could also be somebody that you go into business with and make money with. And on the 23rd of July, we've got the sun coming into your 12th house. A lot of activity in this 12th house coming this month for your Virgos. So this is a time to make sure that you step into silence, that you maybe go out in nature or be with animals, but just get into, in tune, if you like, with the quieter universe, away from your computer, away from your phone, just away from all of that head stuff and into your body and into the deeper parts of you. Because it's important as well because on the 26th of the month we've got a new moon happening here in Leo. So we've got a lot happening here with new beginnings for you to really reassess your year. It's soon going to be birthday time, so reassess the things that you feel that are going well, that's great. Reassess the things that maybe you could improve on, and then think about what it is you want to achieve for this next year. What are the things that you'd like to see in your life? Maybe as well, what are the things you'd like to see in the world? Or where could you make your unique difference? Because Virgos, you always need to contribute. You are the sign that rules contribution helping others. So that too may come out of all this introspective work that you do. But there's going to be messages and information coming to you on a subconscious level and on a psychic level. So trust your intuition and allow that information to come in. It's going to be very helpful. Until the 26th of the month we've got Mars in your second house, so really move forward with any business ideas, push forward, don't be scared, don't sit back, really be more assertive, um, going for more money, more pay, um, just really adding value to what you do so that you can create more in your finances. On the 27th of the month this Mars goes into your third house, joining Saturn, so this is really a great time for study because Mars really pushes you forward mentally and the Saturn says, okay, let's structure that now. How are you going to make um, what it is you want to learn into something useful for your career, some added skills? So this would be a great time for going back to school towards the end of the month or doing a course. 
So there you have it, my dear Virgos. It's an exciting time. I'd love you to come for a reading so that I can share with you what this Jupiter transit is going to mean for you this coming year. Take a look at my website, there's a link below. And thank you for subscribing, sharing, commenting. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.